everybody. I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is about what I miss most about Donna Summers. I came into a knowledge of Donna Summers music in the summer of 1978. Um, um, let me see. I believe it was uh, I was staying in Detroit uh, on a street car donning off of Seven Mile, off of the I-75 freeway. And the first song I heard of hers was called Last Dance. Very nice voice. Um, I was a little too young to say she was attractive, but uh, well, I noticed any time I ever saw her, I never took my eyes off her. And any time I heard her on the radio, I never, ever changed the channel. So from that time, it was, uh, she had another song radio she that did well okay now i as i became older i ended up learning that her first song hit was love to love you heard the song as a kid back in i think 1975 i didn't know it was her um for one reason um no one in my family didn't buy the album but i always heard that song like on the weekends or if somebody was giving a block party, I would hear that song. I just didn't know it was her. And um, not to jump off the subject, the group Digital Underground, they sampled it off of their album, too. Now, getting back to her. So, it was Radio, uh, well, Last Dance. Then she came out with Bad Girl. That was in the summer of, uh, well, 1979. And, uh, well, I was flunking the fourth grade, so I remember the song. <laughs> but uh, I liked her then. Then she came out with, uh, it's, she just constantly kept coming out with hits after hits after hits after hits. So um, when I found out she passed away, I was hurt the whole time because I actually grew up listening to her music. Um, let's, see, let's see what other one. Uh, then I remember when I was about nine years old, I was mad because she was married. So I, I had a little crush on her, you know. So, I, oh, oh, here we go. You all remember that song, She Works Hard for the Money? I believe that was in 1981. So I like that particular song about her. Hi, good afternoon. Then, people are so rude. I was trying to get it on somebody's hustle. But anyway, y'all can hear that from me. But anyway, so that's what I miss most about uh Donna Summers, she was pretty too, and um, whew, she passed away, she got sick, some dust gave her cancer, and uh, I remember when she passed away, and uh, it was so hard for me to watch the funeral, recently I just dug up, you know, I think findergrave.com, where I actually looked at her grave site, and it was hard to look at, because I, I do miss her a lot, because I'm an ex-musician, so I always listen to all different types of music to become inspired and to always sound different, but commercial to enough where if I did get signed to a major record label, I would be on point. So I listen to all kinds of music. But ladies and gentlemen, that is what I missed about Donna Summers. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. Click like or dislike. You can leave a comment, and you can look at my other ones who I miss, like uh, Curtis Mayfield, uh, Minnie Robertson. Uh, Richard Pryor, Bruce Lee, Whitney Houston, just to name a few. So, thank you for your time, and continue to watch the Bryant Watkins channel. Don't you go anywhere.